Hi, I'm Lindsay from Shreve Memorial Library and welcome to Art Club. So Christmas is coming up already. I, I, I don't know how, but, but that's the case. Um, when this premieres, it will be the day after Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, it will be Christmas in my house. So this is two days before Thanksgiving, so it's not quite Christmas yet, but it's about to be, so I might as well start preparing. So this week we are going to paint the uh, super cute Christmas tree you see in this corner. <laughs> Um, it will be the actual thing and uh, it'll be it'll be a fun time so here's what you need um, you need a pencil and with an eraser or and an eraser you will need some kind of color situation um, I suggest something opaque uh, if you don't want to do opaque what you need to do is draw in the ornaments first um, and then leave them white and then go back so they'll be brightly colored or else go and paint white oh yeah just just use something opaque or else like don't paint the ornaments anyway um so you'll need that you'll need some paint brushes we're going to do falling snow like we did with um did stars with the watercolor galaxy so i have my toothbrush which unfortunately got some yellow acrylic paint on it when we did the galaxy and thus will forever have some yellow acrylic paint on it, but that's okay. It's still a perfectly fine toothbrush for painting, not for brushing your teeth. Don't use that one. Um, and that's, yeah, yeah, you'll need something. I'm using gouache. This is pretty much going to act like acrylic. It just doesn't have that sheen to it, so I don't have to worry about a glare. Um, yeah, you can use whatever. You can just color it in. The uh, traceable will be in the description if you don't want to draw along with me. And yeah, let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish where the ground is, which I'm going to say is about here. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to say drifts of snow are happening. I know we don't get those here, but whatever. So I'm just going to draw a little wavy line across. Okay. And then down here a little bit, I'm going to do another wavy line. And that's going to show us where the uh, Christmas tree hits. Okay. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit like that. Okay. Now we're going to draw the Christmas tree. I'm going to start here. You might want to start. Okay. So if you want to put a star or something on top, start it a little bit lower. I'm not going to do a star today or, you know, whatever you want to put on top of, of your Christmas tree. So I'm going to start about here and I'm going to kind of make a soft curved triangle like that. And then I'm going to do a wavy line. And then curve that back up like that. I'm going to do another level of it. And this one is going to start about here. And it's going to go out like that. And then in. And another wavy line. And that's going to connect with a nice little curve. And then the same thing down here, but bigger. Out. Little wavy line. This comes out. And there we have it. So, I'm going to draw myself a little trunk. Remember, trees are narrower at the top. This goes for sticks and all that. So I'm going to do that, bring it out a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, and there is my Christmas tree. So this is a decorated tree. I see like this in movies sometimes, because you know, this is the south. We don't get that much snow. We don't even really get this kind of tree, but that's okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to put a line of snow. We're going to pretend there's snow on the edge of the tree limbs. And so I'm going to just do another little wavy line here, another little wavy line there, and another little wavy line there. Okay? And then now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, eh, so I'm going to make this come down, oops, a little farther. And remember, especially if you're working with acrylics or uh, something opaque you don't have to worry about it but I am going to erase all of this up in here and just redo this little part because I didn't like what it looked like but now is the time to do it because once you touch anything with water including paint to pencil you uh, 
can't move said pencil anymore. It will just be there permanently. So here I'm going to draw this little snow line, and I think that looks a little bit better. Slightly wonky tree, that's okay. Okay, so here's our tree, and now pretty much from here on out, whatever you do is just do you. You can do whatever shape ornaments you want to. You can just put little lights on it. You can do it however you want. I'm going to put in some circles. Actually, yeah, I might as well. Um, especially if you're going to watercolor, you want to do this part, and then when you paint it, you want to leave that white so they'll be bright colors. So I'm going to put some little ornaments in it. Just drawing little circles. Your ornaments do not need to be circles. They can be whatever color you want them to be. But there's a circle. Let's have fun little bulb ornaments. And just draw as many of these on here as you want. Okay, that will be it for my little ornaments on my little tree. And now, what you need to do is erase everything you want erased. You can lighten it if you want by erasing parts of the whole thing. I'm not going to do that with this one. Um, I just wanted to erase in the middle of this one because depending on what kind of paint you're using and the quality of that paint, um, yours might be more or less opaque. The paint I'm using today is kind of middle of the road, uh, so I don't want to have to do a bunch of coats, and so that's why I am erasing all of these lines, especially this part where it's going to be white. I don't want a bunch of pencil lines to have to paint over. So, okay, this is the end of the drawing. If you want to, you can put a star up there. You can put whatever you want. You can draw Santa next to it. You do you. Uh, I'm going to paint it from here. Let's go. So we're not really going to mix paints. So these are kind of just like primaries plus green. This would be a good one really to do just with primary colors because you can mix the uh, blue and yellow to get green and you can mix what red and um, yellow to get an orange and then add some blue to get black. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to do uh, this plain colors. Okay, so here's how I'm going to paint mine. You can do totally different. I'm going to do kind of a dark sky. It's going to be dark blue, so I'm just going to get the straight thalo blue. You don't need to use this blue. Uh, I'm just using a darker blue instead of like a super light blue, so it'll be like nighttime. So I'm going to start with that and paint the back and just try and I'm going to avoid the snow and I'm going to avoid the tree. Here's my night sky. It, you might want to give it two coats. I gave mine two coats to make it a little bit more opaque. Um, this is not the most opaque paint. So I've given mine two coats. Just you evaluate. You might need more than that. You might just want to do one. Whatever you do, it's great. Um, so what I'm going to do now is dry it thoroughly before we do anything else. So let's dry. So this is dry. I see like the texture of it isn't exactly smooth, um, but that's okay, especially since the snow we're about to put on is going to really draw attention away from, you know, whatever lighter spots you have. So here's how we're going to do it. This is, we're doing exactly the same thing that we did for um, the stars in the galaxy. So it's called spattering. I'm going to put out some white paint. And you can do this, like even if you're watercoloring, you can just use like acrylic, white, um, any kind of uh, paint that is opaque and white should work. So what I'm going to do, and then this, the yellow I got on here is, um, is acrylic, so it should not color this white. So here's what I did. I got a wee bit of water, okay, just a wee bit. Um... And I'm going to, let's see, I'll be able to tell, I hope where it is. You might want to test, so I have this, I just want to make sure that where I'm, what I'm spattering is doing what I want it to. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, 
So just test it out somewhere first just to make sure it's going to look like you want it to. Um, you might have snowflakes running together or whatever. Perfectly fun. So all I'm going to do is run my finger along the bristles and makes this nice little bits of snow. If you don't want to do it this way, you can always um, just paint dots or use like a, um, a paint marker would be great for that. So this is all I'm doing. I'm just putting snow. I'm not worried about any of this because it's all white. Once you have as much or as little snow in the background as you want, then um, just be sure we're using acrylic. You see what you saw it happen with the yellow. If you let the paint dry on these brushes, it will just be ruined. So um, anyway, don't do that. And now we're going to move on to the tree part. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the green. And hmm. I'm not at this point going to worry about the ornaments. What I will do is go back and paint them white and then paint the, paint the color over them again because that'll just be easier. So, but if you're doing um, watercolor or something that isn't opaque, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to get some green. Yeah. I didn't mean to get that much. That's okay. I'm going to get some green and a small brush. And I am going to paint this, this, and that. There is the green portion of my tree. And now, and I just realized the top shouldn't be green, should it? The top should be white. The logic of the situation is not, uh, is not perfect. That's okay. So, um, I now am going to paint the chunk. I'm just going to get a little bit of brown. I did not need mean to get that much green. And I'm going to paint this little bit brown. So now I'm going to paint the snow white. Um, you can skip this step if you're happy with it. I mean, I'm not happy with that little bit there. And really that's the main part um, but I kind of want the texture to be the same so uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the white white <laughs> you do that if you want to I've painted the white white um, I see I missed a little spot I think I've said this before in art club but if you're using say inexpensive paint and you just want to get one tube of the good stuff, which is sadly terribly expensive. Um, a, use a coupon, and B, um, get titanium white. Uh, a good titanium white will go farther. I know it seems boring um, just to get white, but it will help you so much. Um, that's that's really the main one. That's the first really good paint that I got was a tube of, tube of titanium white, and I'm so glad I did. Um, and if you're wondering the difference, because I've used a couple whites here. I think I've used this and then one that was just labeled white. And there are a few kinds of whites. One of them is titanium white. That's the first one you'd want to get. That one is super duper opaque and powerful. Um, it adds this, but it adds like a white tint like it kind of changes the tint of what you're doing more than say another kind of white like there's um, that that one that's just labeled white that's one but there's also mixing white or zinc white um, and when you buy it at the store it will usually be labeled zinc white and that is a different white it's white but it lightens the color without changing the color and you kind of have to see it in action to really understand what I mean <laughs> um, but the reason I use titanium white here even over like regular white is that I wanted the snow to pop white so and that is exactly what is going on with titanium white um, anyway so here's our tree it defies logic I know um, if you want it not to defy logic paint the top white too um, but I'm, I'm happy with it or else put a star and that can be like sheltering the top from snow for 
something. I'm not doing that either. I'm happy with it. Um, a couple things I am going to do is I'm going to get some white here. I'm going to get, there's, this is, oh, is it all dry? No, it's not all dry. I'm going to get the, let's see, yeah, you can see that, the tiniest bit of blue. You see that? Just like that. I don't want much. What I do want is I want this little line here to just be a little bit different than that white. I'm going to paint this. Um, I would use a, a mix of black and just make a gray if I had black out, but I don't, and so blue will do. So that kind of shows you that the tree is sitting in the snow. Okay. So now for the fun part. This part is completely up to you. Um, I can't even see. I thought I'd still be able to see the ornaments. I can see a few of them still in the white, but for the most part I can't. So what I'm going to do is, um, wherever I'm going to put an ornament and it's green, I'm going to paint that white. And that's just so... You, you don't really have to do this part, but your colors will be brighter. Like your ornament colors will be brighter if you use um, white. So I'm going to paint those spots white. Okay, now, um, if you are unhappy with any of your your white spots, um, you can go paint them green again or round them up with green. Just make sure that it's dry, that the, the white is dry before you do that. Um, so I'm unhappy with this little bit. And one nice thing about gouache is that it generally dries very fast and it looks like that's already dry enough. I'm just going to go back right here and fix that. Now I feel better about that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put out some red. Just a tiny bit. Some yellow. If you want to put a star on yours, I would suggest you paint white there and then um, paint the yellow over it. You'll be happy with the, happier with the result. Just a little bit. Some red, some yellow, and some more blue since my blue dried. Yee. You can make pink if you add some white to your red. I'm just going to go with these colors though. And I'm going to go and arbitrarily choose colors and paint this. Make sure your white is dry before you do this. Uh, and paint these. You see this turns out way brighter on top of white than it would on green because some of these colors are not terribly opaque. So paint your ornaments on however you want them. Here are my little ornaments. Now we can add some details in here that will make it a little bit more interesting. One of them requires that the ornaments themselves be dry, which they are not. Um, but you can make them shine like lights or you can put in your own lights in whatever colors you want, which I think is fun. So I'm going to get some. This would be a really good use for a... Uh, um, for a, a paint marker. So I'm going to make a little pink. I need more white. Okay. I got this pink. I'm going to do some little lights. And by that I mean little 
lights. And these are little lights on our Christmas tree. You can do them in strings if you want. You can do it however you want. I'm just putting little lights up in here that are pink. Eep. That's going to be an ornament. You see how it's not quite as light behind it? You can tell it was painted over green. So, anyway, these little lights, you can do them as many colors as you want. You can mix colors or not mix colors. I'm going to put a couple colors on here. And I'll get some light blue. Now, I want these more light than the color and that's why I'm getting the white first way too much blue still way too much blue okay I'll put little pinpoints here that are little lights or confetti little lights they're cute Okay, so are my ornaments dry enough? My ornaments are pretty dry. I think I'll be okay. I'm going to go back with a tiny brush, and I'm going to make them shine. Because why not? And to make them shine, I'm just going to put little dots. I'm going to choose one side and put little dots of white on each ornament. See, you now they're shiny ornaments. I think that looks cuter. Another thing you can do is, um, with your white, is add some bigger stars. So to do that, I'm going to cut my little brush, use some water to thin the paint some. Okay, I'm going to do little plus signs, like boom, boom, and then do a little X in it and you see how that made a little bright star you can do as many of those as you want I'm gonna do just a couple you can make them as big or as small as you want them to be this should be dry okay there are my stars I think it's super cute this is just such a cute painting. So now all we need to do is sign it. I have signed my painting. This is not super cute. I think this is super fun. A nice way to celebrate the beginning of the holiday season. So I signed my painting and now all that's left is to pull up the tape. If you're using tape, pull it up slowly and carefully so you don't ruin your fresh new painting. Ooh. And I just think that these white, nice bright white edges make the painting look automatically better. So. Okay, one more. Slowly. Okay, so here is our inaccurate but super cute uh, Christmas tree. Again, you can add a star. You can add some snow, a little snow cap to the top. I actually, I'm going to do that. I think I got blue in there. I'm going to add just a little snow cap to the top. You don't need to do this. It's perfectly fine. If you don't, it's just bothering me. So I'm going to just do... I don't have it taped down anymore. That's okay. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to make a wavy line. And then just paint the top. You might need to do a couple coats. Using a paint like titanium white will help. That looks much better. I'm much happier with this, <laughs> this situation. So now we're done. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this art club. Um, I hope you painted along. If you did, please take a picture and send it into the library social media. We love to see what you do. And yeah, I will see you next week and we will do more art club. Bye.